welcome back so this video I have a number of bargains what I believe to be bargains I actually picked up from Wheatland auctions which is doing the last Uncle Jimmy sale the final Uncle Jimmy auction and this is February so but I just I literally drove over to Lancaster, Pennsylvania, about an hour and a half away, because honestly, I wasn't going to risk these things getting put in the mail and getting to me. So that was my trip yesterday, and now I want to show you what I got. Um, so starting off, let me just say this, everything that you're going to see, the grand total, which includes bids, the premium, and tax was six hundred eighty seven dollars and ninety four cents um, yes it's not cheap I'm not gonna lie to you and say it is um, but I think once you see what's in here you realize some of these things I basically stole so let's start with the lot up front obviously that is not Hank Greenberg but there were a couple Greenbergs in this lot. This is six. So there's six photos here that are M113 and or M114 baseball magazine photos. There's two Hank Greenbergs, two Melots, and two Carl Hubbles. The total I spent, and again, this is with tax and premium uh, wrapped in, was $68.76, which averaged $11.50 a piece approximately. Now these are all in phenomenal shape. I mean, all the corners, edges are sharp. Pictures are nice and clear. So there's two Mel Otts, two Carl Hubbles, which I'm keeping in the original top loader that they put these in. And part of my delay in getting this video done um, was actually going to my local LCS and getting a couple big top loaders. So the nice thing is there's doubles of the Hubble and the Ott. There's actually two different Hank Greenbergs in here. This was the first and it's Tiger's Uni and this is a significant upgrade for me um, 1947 in his pirates uniform. So those are the biggest slots, and then, again, those were averaged out to eleven dollars and fifty cents a piece. Um, the next slot is two 1936 Gaudi R311 glossy finish team photos. We have the Tigers and we have the Red Sox. Total I paid for this lot is $43.78, so we're looking at approximately $22 a piece. And if you look again, the condition of these is absolutely phenomenal. On the Tigers one, you got Hank right there, this is a picture of the 1934 Tigers, and it does have a little bit of Uncle Jimmy writing on the back. And then this, not in as good a shape, it's got some pinholes in it. But Red Sox, in case you're wondering, this is going to stay in my collection um, because it has Al Schacht when he was a coach um, with the Red Sox. So, I'll keep this in the PC. So that was the second lot. I should mention there's five lots that I purchased. Alright, next, in this fun little folder, there's Uncle Jimmy. This is a lot of 
1946-49 W603 Sports Exchange photo card, hand cut, with Greenberg, Dickey, Rizzuto, Lyons, and others. The total I paid for this lot, so now we're getting a little bit more, was $118.85. So you're looking at approximately $12 a piece for these. But you're basically getting a scooter rookie. There's a lot of Yankees in here, so Yankees people. Obviously, let me know if there's of interest in these. I'll figure out pricing and everything because I just I don't know the prices what the going rate is on these. I know all these lots. I got very lucky. Tommy Heinrich. Joe Flash Gordon, the original Flash Gordon, Billy Johnson, Ted Lyons. I assume these smaller ones are the 49 releases. This is a great Spud Chandler pitching mainstay of the New York Yankees. So a slightly different one here. This still has the facts and figures on it. All these other ones, they are trimmed off. There's some really nice Bill Dickey. And then there's the Hank Greenberg. This one does have a little chip on it. I am okay with that. Looks like it was pinned to the wall or something. Um, but they're, they usually cost a lot more than... Uh, what was it? Uh, 12 bucks. So I am perfectly fine with that. So that is that lot. And there's a Ted Lyons in here somewhere, which... I think got stuck. Now they're all kind of sticking together a little bit. Oh, there's Ted Lyons. It was stuck behind one of them. So, kind of sense a trend here of at least one PC item per lot. All right, so this this is the second best steal of the entire auction. So this is a lot of eight vintage baseball photos. Again, with the premium and with the tax, it was $18.76. So you're looking at under $250 per photo. And there's a few that'll cover that just in one sale for sure. But the real reason I picked it up is this for a little tiny Mo Morris Arnovich 39 Phillies photo. Add this to the PC. EF Collins. There's a really nice early Joe D photo. This is some guy, uh, McCain for Detroit, and see some of these have Uncle Jimmy's little sticker on them. Now the one thing I have to look at, honestly, with this, is that signature looks very familiar. 69. Ernie Banks, Barney Sterling from the same photographer you have Leo DeRocher and you have Hugh Mulcahy, Mulcahy, Mulcahy I should say and then 
for Brooklyn. We have Al Todd. And the last one, I need to turn those over. You don't need to get spoiled on that one. That is Pearson. Chicago 37. Actually, it was taken in Chicago, but that's a Brooklyn guy. Brooklyn player. So, obviously, this is the main one that I wanted. Um, I have to look at the signature a little bit more. There's a possibility that this is autographed. Um, the photo's original. The F. Collins did a lot of the sports photography. And all the names are put up top. But this is the only one that's, you know, in cursive that's signed in a significant way. It doesn't match the other handwriting. So, and it looks similar to Arnovich's handwriting. But, again, those photos, $250 a piece, I am really okay with that. Um, I, I was shocked when that, when the hammer fell at 15 Alright, but the main reason why I participated in this particular auction, and I will get a little closer, was this lot. Lot number 312. Six, secretarial, so non-authentic, signed 1934 Gaudi Hall of Famer cards with two Mickey Cochran, Chuck Klein, Archie Vaughn, Paul Wehner, and Hank Greenberg. So, they authenticated that the cards are real, but the signatures are secretarial, or clubhouse, whatever you want to call them. So let's go through this lot. In phenomenal shape, 34 Chuck Klein, and that does not look like his regular, his signature. Archie Vaughn, I have not looked to see how that signature compares. So I still have to look that one up. Paul Wehner, this does not match. But again, I'm fine with just ha submitting this and saying, you know, grade the card and then designate mark on it. Or say that there's a secretarial signature on it. I'm fine with that. Um, I think either way, obviously it's better to have the actual player sign it, but having the clubhouse or secretarial signature, um, it does make it kind of interesting and kind of part of the, um, the time period. And you have Mickey Cochran. And another Mickey Cochran. Now see, the interesting thing with these two, this one, this signature, doesn't look good. This one, there's very close characteristics to authentic signature, particularly um, with the formation of that C in Cochrane. So this one looks like there's an outside possibility. This one, I don't think in my lay comparison to other players uh, or other signature examples. Now this, I checked out, um, I had a couple other well-known YouTube Greenberg collectors check out and they're kind of the same boat. We think there's at least a 50-50 chance that the signature on this is good. It is how Greenberg signed his cards, placement of it, and other authenticated examples. The signature is period for 34. So there is a good possibility that that's correct. Now, I guess I've given you the price of everything else. So 
how much does this cost, especially considering the prices of just a Greenberg rookie card right now, which have gone through the roof. And again, I was stunned by the fact that the bid was so low on it. The hammer was so low on it. The end of the day, with premium and tax, I paid $438 for this lot. So $73 a card approximately. Um, that is less than what this card is going for authentic slabbed authentic Greenberg's Greenberg rookies are going for more than um, four hundred forty dollars raw ones are going for more more than four hundred forty dollars um, so I was able to pick up a Greenberg another Greenberg rookie thankfully for less than I could anywhere else and there's an outside chance that the signature is authentic on it. Um, I had placed a max bid um, a lot higher than where it ended up. I think I was willing to go up to $600 on this lot. Um, so $100 a card, because the cards themselves are in really nice shape. They're in really nice shape. Greenberg is in the worst condition because of what looks like a tape mark on it. This is the worst condition card, but if you look at the corners, it's still pretty darn good. Um, colors all good on them, and yes, they have secretarial signatures, but for my eyes, it's part of the story of the card. Um, so because this one, I think this is the first lot that settled. Um, that um, that the hammer fell on. So once this fell at 350, I had already budgeted a certain amount. That's when I jumped on a lot of the other lots and increased my placeholder bids because I put placeholder bids of like 20 bucks on some of these. Um, so then I was able to kind of inch up on some of them and ended up getting five lots made a bunch of additions to the greenberg pc and again for what it breaks down to and there's plenty of stuff that i can just flip um that doesn't belong in my pc so it should be in someone's pc um and i can mitigate a lot of the cost of this auction probably approaching because i got good deals on it the vast majority of the cost while still being reasonable um, and below comps and what I sell everything for so that is the absolutely fantastic auction results from the last of the Uncle Jimmy collection auctioned off by Wheatland auctions in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So that's what I got for you this time around. Until next time, please remember to collect what you enjoy, enjoy what you collect, and don't let anybody, especially the market or YouTuber, dictate that to you. And most importantly, have fun. And have fun by being active in this community. So find your way of participating. Whether you're making videos, watching and commenting, going to live streams, group chats, going to LCS or local card show, or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends. The more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. The more you'll learn, the more your PC will grow, the more people you'll meet, and the more fantastic friendships you'll form. So I thank you very much for joining me. Hope to see you again. Have a good one, and bye for now.